up next, we visit a community in Nashville, Tennessee, that aims to do anything but blend in. Nashville is nestled in the heart of Tennessee, and its housing tends to reflect its roots, conservative and traditional. So what's a thoroughly modern couple to do in this town? Well, we've always looked for contemporary design, and it didn't exist in this town. We've lived in Nashville seven years, and for seven years we've been looking for a contemporary home because there's just not one here. And uh, we pretty much, you know, were at a loss on what we were going to buy because we knew we were going to be here for a while. Ralph and Penny Mastrangelo came to Nashville in 1993 because of their careers in the music industry. More and more newcomers from larger cities are migrating to this area, and this fresh population is bringing with it a new demand for contemporary homes. After years of searching the city, Ralph and Penny stumbled upon the community of Woodside, just driving around one day. Pretty much exhausted every avenue in this town for what we were looking for. And out of the corner of my eye, this was the only home up here. It was just framed. And I locked up the brakes and said, Penny, that's it. The compact 10-house development lies just nine miles from downtown Nashville in a wooded hillside area. Mohsen Malakuti is the architect builder behind the project. He says that the new approach to production housing was a risk. So he started small. Well, obviously, every time you try uh, something new, there is a risk associated with it. And uh, I was actually looking for a small development where I could test the market without taking a huge financial risk. And Woodside came about, and um, it was the time to give it a try. The houses explode with geometry. Squares and odd angles abound. Traditional elements, like windows and overhangs, are repackaged in a contemporary form. And although these homes stand out from the standard Nashville fair, the use of traditional materials, like cedar and cypress siding, and natural paints and stains, make the modern designs blend into the wooded Tennessee setting. The style of these homes, uh, just to make it more vernacular and fit better in the neighborhood, is basically a combination of traditional and modern. So that's why you see siding, lap siding, which is very traditional, next to a real, you know, modern square windows. Mosin uses traditional materials behind the walls as well, with stick frame and concrete block construction. And although each floor plan is basically the same, Mosin goes against the norm for typical production housing again and customizes each house. In the end, no two are alike. One of the most distinct characteristics of this development is the fact that each house has a different look, has a different appearance. And it's done through manipulation of, of plans into a, uh, different forms and, and changing the facade using more or less the same floor plans. But Ralph and Penny are crazy about the way their house feels inside. The modern layout translates into a symphony of angles, and it means fewer walls and more open space. We wanted the open space and the freedom to decorate very lightly and let the house speak for itself, and we think that that's what this house does. People like it. People just, as soon as they walk in the door, they, their eyes just start wandering around. It's very, it kind of draws you in like that. You just look at the architecture. It really doesn't need much more than that. I like the fact that uh, there are no walls within our home anywhere in the main living area. You can see from one room to another. It's a great party house. <laughs> Happy homeowners like the Mastrangelos have made Woodside a success story. But it's not just the modern architecture that has made this community work. It's also the reasonable prices. These fresh, custom-feeling homes cost the same as the conventional homes nearby, just $90 to $100 per square foot. But does this mean that modern design will find a place in the mainstream Nashville housing market? I hope this kind of architecture has a place here. I believe that there is a call for it. There are a lot of transplants here. We're transplants, Penny and I. I'm from New York. She's from Dallas. And that's where this kind of architecture is more prevalent. I think the demand or market for more modern houses will grow. A lot of people are moving to Nashville. So as Mosin gets ready to develop his next modern neighborhood, only time will tell 
whether these bold designs will create a nouveau Nashville.